What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back on near Adamata. We are heading out to Pascal's village. Since that is our current objective. So what do we still got left in this playthrough? We got this, we got... I guess it depends. I don't know how it works when we kill that thing in the ocean. Um, yeah, I don't quite know how that works because uh, nine, or yeah, 9S is gone. So I don't really know how that part of the game works. Do we just go out back to being 2B? Or I, I don't I don't know what happens there. I'm interested to find that out. Um... We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Pascal. Yes, Tubi? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? Hmm. I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. There we go. Head to the forest. I forgot, I forgot completely about the Forest Kingdom, but I think that was almost a two-parter as well that I'll probably nail out here Say, pretty quickly. Be. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? Nine S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... And I mean, it's not that I, like, dislike... I don't know, it's not like I'm trying to rush, but I want to get to something new. And we've already beat this, and supposedly the third playthrough is a little bit newer. There's, like, new stuff there. The new cutscenes in this are cool, and that's what I'm really focused on trying to get to, is the newer cutscenes and stuff. But, like, doing this, we already did it. And so it really just feels like a new game plus this without... This the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. No getting through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. All hail the Forest King. All hail the Forest King. Who the heck is the Forest King? You're getting distracted. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. But, um... So it's essentially like playing a new game plus with a completely different character. That's essentially what I'm playing here. Oh my god. Spray him down. Check this guy, he's just running away. It's going to explode. <sighs> huh? Hey, where am I? Um, what's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? This thing's weird, Tubi. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No. Good idea. No! Okay, what was that? It was our ticket out of the shopping center. Looks like the forest is just ahead. Grab the item, 
And now the slight speed run through the forest. Let's see if I can dip. Here they. Ah. Uh... Okay. Okay. I was like, is this the. The music kept going. I was like, is this the game or is this my. This forest we are stationed in. It is hot, humid, unhygienic, a punishing hell for machine life forms. None should have to live in such a place. I have decided. I shall make this our kingdom and declare our independence. That These was machines. Cool. They were talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. Listen to what they're saying to be. Okay, so that would have been So that was that was the creation of the Forest Kingdom. Was when that uh big machine decided that it wasn't fair that they had to work out in the heat. <laughs> Look, we're already here already. There's so many shortcuts to get through that forest. There's that major drop down and then it's two quick dashes and uh and a what is that a left right turn? There's there's a two right turns so in your machines here. had a king, but how can a concept like loyalty be understood by a machine? I don't know, but it is 9s. Technically they're loyal by obeying orders. That means loyalty. Hundred and twenty eight years ago. Is he dying? His or is he majesty. He's dead. Yep, he died. Hundred and twenty eight years ago. Who gave all for us? So benevolent and kind. And now he's dead. This sure is sad. It sure is. But we royal knights still have a mission. We placed his majesty's memory, his final memento, into this tiny child. And now we must raise this child so he might one day be our new king. He deserves a royal upbringing. He deserves protection.
All right, into the kingdom we go. So. What is happening? Oh, I went the wrong way anyway. I almost ran off the edge, so it's actually a good thing. Oh my. Stop, homie. Calm it down. We're gonna have to kill something, because I... We're about to hit level 32. Yep, this looks like a king's castle, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, we're into the side-scroller now. Oh my gosh, you do a lot of damage. Okay. Can I? Okay. Watch out for hostile enemies, 2B. Roger that, 9-Z. Huh? Wait, what did you just say? Roger that, 9-S. Wait, no, that's not what you said. You said 9s. Or at least something close to. Cut the chatter and engage the enemy. Ah. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now we just gotta dash around this side. Ladder. Oh no, no ladder. Oh, look at these sly guys at the end. Yeah, no one's ever gonna see you. <laughs> I wish they would have disguised them better, so it would have been more of like a, oh, hey, look, it's an enemy. Ow. Ow. I don't want to be wasting large recoveries. Let me use mediums. Oh, here we go. Yes, another cutscene. These are so exciting that there's so many. Four years ago. Is this the way I came from or the way I need to go? This is, I can't tell. This is the way, I think that's the way I came from. I was trying. I was sitting there. I was like, ah, I don't know where to go. I th I think I'm going the right way. I watched that cutscene. I was like, oh, this is a great cutscene, and then I was like, oh crap, I forgot where I need to go. No, go away, you piece of crap. Go away, I don't want to fight you. I hate fighting those things, and I hate fighting that one in particular. Oh, this is the infinite spawning idiots. Hello, king.
He is a pretty cute robot. Look at him. Is this their king? <laughs> Tupi, that's an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. Tupi! <laughs> A2. And oh my god. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What you see in front of you is your enemy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, come on. There we go, got it. She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. I can't move! Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a red block moving. What is this? What is this? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Gotta get to it. Seconds. That one wasn't bad. That one was not bad at all. Oh, she's dipping. I forgot she dips. Why? Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. And into the mist she goes. Be. Damn! She got away. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the Force? <sighs> I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. 2B? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Oh, is it just teleport us? Or is it... Oh, cutscene! Weather and wind... snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why, and yet they spent their lives nestled together, forever, forever and ever. Um... Pascal, this is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. 
Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Or, you know, I can just fast travel there. Transport Pascal's village. I don't know why you would go the closed entrance way. You can just fast travel there. <laughs> you gotta run, like, kind of far back to get there, so I'm not quite sure why you would do it. Why, why they just didn't tell you to fast travel there? Makes far more sense. But I really enjoyed this episode. We got a lot of cutscenes, got a lot of backstory on the this place, the, uh, the Forest Kingdom. So that's cool. I'm surprised you wish to speak with me personally. Whatever is the matter? It'll be faster if you just take a look at this recording. I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. Alright, thanks. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. Alright, so I think this is a good place to stop. We've got a save point right here. Uh, and then in the next episode, we will head to the resistance camp. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got a lot of backstory on the, fo on the forest kingdom. Happy about that. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.